Welcome back everybody. Today I'm trying to find the remnants of an old house site. I'm assuming it was probably an old ranch, although we will find out. And we're surrounded by black and blue oak trees. These are native to this area. And within these trees was a palm tree, which obviously is not native. So that stood out and that's how I found this place. That's just on Google Maps and it's like, wait a minute, that don't look right. Palm tree in the middle of nowhere. So as I zoomed in, I started to see the old foundations and everything. And well, we got a place to go now. You can see it's tucked away on the side of the road. The reason I believe this place was demolished is because this is forest service land. And generally when they take over land, they will demolish whatever structures exist. Fish and game included, they do the same. Obviously, BLM doesn't do this as, you know, you could see all the places we look at in Nevada, and most of that's on BLM. This was the front, this would have been the porch. You could see, almost looks like it was a wraparound porch, you know, those are not too common especially in modern houses. It's unfortunate to see one demolished. That would have been another way to get in. This, that would have been where the house would have been. Looks like there's some stuff over there we'll have to look at. So you know, not, not too much to look at today, but have a quick look around. Obviously, you can see the palm tree. That palm tree is so out of place. It's just right in this, wouldn't say middle of nowhere, but pretty desolate compared to California. You know, for California, this is desolate. And seen a palm tree that's it's a pretty clear sign some there's a civilization here before there was a house people existed otherwise it wouldn't be there obviously even got a little bit of moss on it it's pretty cool doesn't look like there's anything that way now that's cool. That's an old furnace. Check that out. It's always nice to see a furnace. It really shows the age of this place. And there's just some trash laying around as well. Some piping. Definitely a lot of remnants. Might not be anything standing, although I think it's still interesting. This was probably a laundry unit, this little room. Judging how it's tucked away from the rest of the house and there's all that piping, all the plumbing. That was probably the back door, that was. An old can. It's like one from the 90s, one of the 90s style ones. It's not a pull tab, but it's also not a modern 
can. And then got to septic with a bunch of spider webs. Look at that, let me zoom in. See all those spider webs? Then let's walk this way. See what we can find. And it's hot today. It's actually supposed to get to 113. If it does, that's a good question, but who knows if it actually will. You know, the news likes to over exaggerate with everything. See, 113 is probably just to get to 110, something like that, which is still hot. Probably not the best day for exploring, but I still wanted to come out and have a look around, you know what I'm saying? It's a neat place. You can see that would have been another structure, a small little one. That's where the house was. And I could already see a fig tree. Obviously someone planted that back when this place was still active, back when it was a ranch or a dairy or whatever it was. And lots of yellow star thistle and foxtail and ticks. Perfect combination, man. This was the entryway into whatever building this would have been. foundation this yeah there's some more steps right there to get inside looks like the structure went all the way to this side not sure if you can see that now you can That was a decent sized, whatever it was, whatever it was at this site. Let's see. Good old fig tree. It's not the right time of year for figs to be on it, but you could see some dead ones. I think that's almost it. Everything we have to look at today. Let's start heading back. This is going to be it today. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and check out my other videos as well.